so late. Um, I'm working a late shift here at the... Uh, I've commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. Two. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family of sea creatures. A massive gelatinous creature that washed up on the beaches of Providence, Rhode Island, has scientists scratching their heads. Found by a jogger early on Tuesday morning who says he smelled it a mile away, the mystery creature is thought to be some form of giant octopus. Though marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a Hello, yet undiscovered Connor. family of sea creatures. Is a tonight a rerun? Yeah. Caller number three. Hey, hey, lady. You, you got some change, lady? Rich bitch. Those mothers ripped me off. I'm dying here. Oh. Uh, yeah. You looking for the astrolite? I'm... Oh, I can feel a draft on my fucking insides. They shanked me. The bastards. The blood ain't working no more. My head, it feels cracked. Oh, I think my eyes popped. I got... I went... What is this lump? Is this my rib? Oh, holy shit. My rib is poking through my side? Oh, I'm all numb. You gotta look and tell me. Goddamn chemist. Can't trust any operators in L.A. I verified him. Organizations seem reliable. Guy mixes up speed. His crew sells it. Occasionally does explosives. I set up a drop. I show up at the beach with the money, right? Four of these guys, they come out of nowhere. Junkie pricks, hit me with a bat. <coughs> it feels like I got a friggin' horse kick in it. I never should have gone alone. Amateur move. I should have handled those pricks. Goddamn dirty Cali rat bastards. Those cocksuckers beat me rotten, left me for a stiff. I had to crawl to my car, crawl my ass up here. The vamp blood's the only thing holding me together. But shit. They got the money, they got the astrolite. Hold on, you think I'm some amateur? I got their number. A small time sons of bitches live out in a dump on the beach. Maybe four or five of them. The one's got the explosives is Dennis. Got my money too, that prick. Laying in a pool in my own blood and you want friggin' directions. Right, all right. Uh, down the street, in the parking garage, stairs down to the beach. On the right. <clears throat> Those better not be some of my last words. You gotta... You gotta get it back from him. Maybe reason with him, maybe break in. I don't know. No, I wanna kill him. Do whatever you people do. I blew it, I know. Yeah, if you could... Oh, <clears throat> something just started leaking. I need something for the pain. Uh, one more thing. About the deal. I mean it. You tell anyone about this, I'm dead. I'm begging you. I got a way of getting people what they need. You don't say anything, I can help you out.
Shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced him in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago, up in Malibu. I found this guy on the beach. Looked like, I don't know, an animal attack. Shark bite? No, I seen shark bite. Something different. Like whatever killed him, dude. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. It's like I've told you types about it a thousand up, times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. Hey, you should try up there, through that chain link gate. A couple of real nasty looking bloods come out there a couple of times a night. You mean you ain't here to run us off? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, all right? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. Clan? <laughs> See, I've heard all that before. And I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. And... She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left. Never really knowing what I was. Well, I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now. A mystery to myself. Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules, and the terms, and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Aye, most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, I hope you have better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The 
black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. And the one who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids gloves with them. They've had it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there. Ocean's inviting to Help you. Okay, you can go on it. And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it. Okay, yeah, listen up, girl. Cash money up front, and that is non-negotiable in your case. So we're clear? I have got not one moral fiber restraining me against hitting a bitch should she get out of line. You understand? That said, what can I do to make you feel like the world is your bucket of fudge ripple with walnuts? I like my balls where they are right now, thank you very much. Shit, you have got to be one of the stupidest motherfuckers in existence. What'd I tell you when you came in here, huh? Get the boat ready, boys. We going shark fishing. Hey, that's somebody here. Oh! Up there. Those m Never mind. Listen, it's I should try. You mean you We're getting Dunno. Clan. I just come to She had an She tried clinically. That's what Lily I well, I hope you. Are we to prove? Seems not. Lily, where did you go?
help you? Okay, you... Okay, yeah, that's it. My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, reds, black, you pick a color. Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Hey, look over here! Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. In your case, hell no. Every night I got some skis trying to hang it up on me for a hit. I wouldn't take that shit if you promised me a van or blow. Damn. Mercurio? Yeah, we know him. We know Mercurio, don't we? How is our friend Mercurio? Hey, hold it! <laughs> Oceans of biting trouble.
Uh. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Who exactly? Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. All right. Jeanette? Got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Who exactly? I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Specifically? Who exactly? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate LA, but what are you gonna do? Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. 